Welcome to part number 46 of Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're going to be doing the Classic Muscle Cars Championship. Now, we need a Classic Muscle Car. And for this series, I'm going to go ahead and use... This beast. Now, there's a Mercury Cougar that I have, but eh, I don't really want to use it. Because we get one in GT4, and I'm just like, uh, I don't really care for it too much right now. Now, that looks badass in that yellow gold. Hell yeah. So there it is, the 71 Mustang Mach 1. So, all, ooh, matte orange. Cool, okay. So all we really need to do to this car because it's Monza and it's a one race series. Upgrade the transmission, that's it. That's all we gotta do to this thing. I'll just do the clutch and the flywheel because why not? These upgrades are available to us, we might as well, if we upgrade the transmission, we might as well upgrade the other things too. To improve shifting time and things like that. Alright, time to do the final championship in the Amateur Series for A-Spec. And that is the Classic Muscle Car Championship, because I don't do anything in order, because I hate doing this stuff in order. You see we got a super bird in the field. Ooh, that's gonna be badass. Mother yep, I'm the only Mustang Mach 1. Sweet. In all the size of every one of these lads, yep. The thick American vehicles. It's the evasion of the Yanks in this race in Italy. Just like World War II, but colorized. The Legion of Units. Yep. Okay. So, as you saw, give this another shot. Off screen, I actually went and bought sport hard tires and fixed the gearing on the car. I know I'm better than this, Rick. I just screwed up. It's like, I just made a simple mistake. This race isn't even that difficult. It's not. I just broke way too late for no reason. I to make sure TCS was off because sometimes it stays on. I don't know why. Mainly because I forget to change it or whatever. Bit too far back to make him move. But I'll get him by the parabolica. Yep, there he goes, hitting the rev limiter. Now we can make our move. And we just did. Right when I said that.
Yeah, now I have the acceleration coming out of the corner. And here comes the Shelby. I wonder how we're going to hold up to him now, now that we're using shorter gears. We have kind of a big lead over him. I don't want to count, you know, my chickens too early, but I think we're maybe okay. Maybe. Oh no, he's coming. That GT350 is one of the best car, if not probably the best non, uh, like, Cobra slash Buick Special classic muscle car in this game. Third best car, I, I guess you could say. Nice how in GT6 there's a premium model for it. But it's a different, it's technically a different car. But I mean, we're still maintaining a gap ahead of him. I think it's just in the corners we're doing so much better than him. But on the straights, he's starting to catch us. I, like I said, I'm pretty sure that car goes to about 140. I did use the car for the Supercar Festival, so I do remember it going faster than at least 125. That's a car I haven't seen anywhere close to us. I feel like he's in third place, but I don't know. Okay, yeah, he goes about 130, 135 maybe. Okay, I hit the brakes way too early, but... Yeah. Oh no, I know I can do it, Sean. Like I said, this race is easy. It's just that I screwed up my setup in the first attempt, and then the second attempt, I just outbreak, you know, I broke way too late into turn one. This race isn't difficult at all. I mean, I've been through worse. Obviously, the Red Bull Challenge. So I'm pretty much just, like, calm and relaxed right now. I'm just like, eh, this is not really that hard. stay away from the wall. Hit the apex, but not the wall. Okay, now he's joining the party. There he is. I'm gonna go for a defensive line. Let him go on the outside. I don't care. The Corvette challenge him. Make him waste time. I'm gonna go defensive in the parabolica. Because they clearly have a toe. Just gonna cover the inside. I know it broke a bit early, but I don't wanna deal with any shenanigans right now. It's gonna be a photo finish. Alright, here comes the Corvette. We got it. Cool. Okay. Three attempts too many because of my own mistakes, but I'll take it. Whatever. Yeah, yay. <laughs> now
Now, the prize card for this championship is actually really good. Something that I'm going to be using for another series. Because obviously we can't do this series anymore because it's already, you know, won. But yeah, we win two prizes because we finished the amateur division. I gave myself a clap. I gave myself a small round of applause. So we win a Buick Special. Because I'm special. And we win a level 9 coupon. So if you guys are wondering where I'm going to be using the special at, it's going to be for the Toon Decor Championship. A worthy opponent for the exclusive Xantia. Damn, that's a meme that has to come back. Oh yeah, I forgot this was a SEMA car. So there it is, the Buick Special. It's supposed to be from 62? Chip Foose? You're gonna do some boring spec. Hey, it's fun. Anyways, here's the level 9 coupon card. Please give us something good and please give us something that we don't have already. Yeah, it's the first GT award winner. Oh yeah, I was there this last year when they awarded the 2018 GT award winner. It's premium. What the hell is that? I already have one of these. Of course, why, why would I expect anything good? Well, I, I mean, is there really a point of showing off the car? I suppose there is. I mean, it's the same exact car as this. It's the same exact car. We already have one. We won this from the AMG Academy. All right, Jason, see ya, man. Uh, well, my heart is broken. Anyways, that is it for this video. Next time on Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec, we go back to the Professional Series and do the Muscle Car Championship.